Hello my beautiful mermaids, it's Serafina Delirium and thank you so much for clicking on this video, for coming to my channel. Welcome back if you're here again and welcome to my channel if you're here for the first time. It's so nice to have you here. I do hope that you like and subscribe to my channel for more awesome quirky videos just like this one. If you do like it, I really do hope you stick around for more of my videos. And either way, I really am hoping that you're having a fantastic mermaid. I did it backwards. <laughs> a mermazing fantastic day. But for reals, I hope everybody is having a great day and welcome to my channel. So, today I am doing a low buy haul, if you can call it a low buy haul. I mean, basically we're going to go over some books today and it is raining heavily outside. So, fun facts about today. It's the 13th of July. It's not even a Friday, it's a Thursday. But I just got back from an assisted living facility where my grandmother is staying and we played bingo for a long time. But before we did that, we were at a luau. So there was a luau party for the residents and it was really fun. So that's why I'm wearing some lace. Uh, the pink one is my grandmother's and the purple one was my mom's. Yeah, this was my mom's. The pink one was my grandmother's and the yellow one was mine. And it's awesome because I am wearing sunflower leggings that look silly it's like ha -la -la. <laughs> sunflower leggings i love these leggings and the yellow matches perfectly with my yellow and my black it didn't really match with the blue eyeshadow but that's okay um speaking of the blue eyeshadow do you remember how the other day which speaking of the other day that video that i made the get ready with me for where is that palette where did it go it is behind the computer so the palette that i'm gonna grab in just a second <laughs> for the Blueberry Blast eyeshadow palette by LA Colors. So I just did a get ready with me with that. I'm wearing it today. That video has tons of views, like 10 likes. Oh my gosh, guys, thank you so much. Let me show you that palette, and I'm going to show you the, the shades that I'm using and the makeup that I'm wearing on my face. Okay, I had to pull it from underneath the computer because I have like a laptop stand. It's funny, I have the perfect little ghetto setup. It's a bar stool, like chair, like bar stool bar chair. <laughs> it's a swivel chair. And on it, I have like a square mirror that you could put on the wall, but I'm using it as a vanity because I'm cheap. <laughs> and I use what I got instead of spending like $300 for a vanity table. I don't have money for that, so I'm using what I got. So I have a square mirror on it. I'm totally gonna show you one day. And on, in front of that, I have this plastic um, brand jelly comb <laughs> laptop stand, computer stand on top of that. And it's all white. I know it's all white now, guys. And my computer is sitting on top of that. And when my laptop is not sitting on top of that, it's a vanity. Okay, and then I put my makeup on it and I do my makeup like that. It's awesome. It's the perfect setup. And it was all free or really cheap. <laughs> I probably spent like 15 bucks altogether on this because <laughs> I, I am a total like pirate, I think. So anyway, what I'm wearing on my face consists of the following. So for starters, I did put moisturizer on. Don't pay any attention to the actual tin. I am wearing Pond's um, Pond's Daily Hydrating Facial Moisturizer Cream. I don't remember because I don't have the original container anymore, but it's inside of this Nivea tin, and this is the cream that I'm wearing. It's moisturizer. It didn't work too well because there's still a bunch of dry, peeling skin on my face, so I gotta do something about it. I, I don't think that that, um, Pond's is working out too well for me as far as hydrating my skin. Another hydrating cream that I really love though, I need to get some more of this. It's not very much that I have left as far as daily hydrating because my skin is uber dry all the time. This is the Perlis Matcha Green Tea Antioxidant Priming Moisturizer. I need to use this more often and this is something that I need to get on a regular basis. I would love to get a giant one but they're like 30 and 40 dollars. I know right? It's a lot of money. Um, but it's a lightweight, oil-free water cream. It primes skin for makeup. I do need more of this or something like it. And this is only 15 milliliters or 0.5 fluid ounces, half an ounce. Um, so, but I do love Perlice a lot. I do recommend this. If you can get Ipsy or, um, 
another beauty makeup box and you can get that in there for like lower prices then definitely do it so my go-to right now is actually a foundation called wait for it drum roll please the elf camo powder foundation this is my shade is fair 140 w i think of 140 west <laughs> but this is my current shade right now 140 west the wicked witch of the west that's me and i have used up the embellishment whatever you want to call it i want to call it an embellishment there we're embellishing it right now guys no but it used to say elf camo in here it does not anymore it does have a mirror i never use the mirror um but it does look nice underneath there is an applicator i haven't touched it yet i can if i need to but I don't need it. It's just kind of extra storage space for, you know, whatever. Maybe some money. Maybe I'll put some money in there. <laughs> some hide it. Like hide a, a $20 bill in there, you know, for emergencies. Like that would actually be a smart idea. Like if you're traveling, nobody's going to think to look in your makeup case, right? So anyways, I really like this. I don't need concealer. It's the perfect consistency for me. And I use this yellow dollar um, it, it cost one dollar, but I got it at Dollar General. It's just a yellow beauty blender Off-brand sponge to put my makeup on. So let's put these back in my little caddy thing You can probably see the side of my funny looking face. I'm just kidding. It's not that bad <laughs> I hope. But anyway our number nine palette of the month for July is the LA Colors Blueberry Blast, which I had to special order online. You can get pretty much all of these, even now, I think, in 2023. I know you could get them last year in 2022, but you can get basically all of these at the Dollar General stores, and maybe even some like Dollar Trees and Walmarts. I'm pretty sure you can still get them online. Look for them. They are amazing, but this one, I did special order this on Walmart.com. It was pretty affordable at the time. It's probably gone up in price now, but this is the Blueberry Blast Eye Palette from LA Colors. So I have all four of them. I have Berry Kiss, I have Lemon Drop, I have Peach Fizz, my favorite, and of course this one, which is our number nine palette of the month for July. So our goal is 10 uses. I've used it four times, and today's look is this. This is today's look, which is my go-to, I think. It's just two shades more simple than the other day's look, which I used, I tried to use three shades that I don't normally reach for. The last time I did a look with this, it was a little bit too pigmented and I was trying to blend it and I did a pretty good job, but <laughs> it wasn't perfect. It wasn't perfect. I'm not a guru. I am not perfect, guys. I'm just playing around and having fun. So, uh, I think the last time I did a look, it was like this blue and this, I know it was this blue, and I think this blue, but today, yes, Dallas? I can't find Okay, my four-year-old was trying to find his umbrella because it's raining and he likes to dance in the rain because it's much more fun to dance in it, right? So, today's shade, I am using this bottom blue, right? Am I using this bottom blue? <laughs> who cares i'm using one of these blues i'm pretty sure it's this bottom blue that i'm using i'm pretty sure i'm gonna bet myself five dollars either way i'm gonna owe myself five dollars but i'm gonna go with this blue okay and the other shade i'm wearing is this one which i absolutely love so let's swatch this blue which i blended out it's okay i know it's not gonna match because i blended it and rub that on my sunflower leggings the lazy way of cleaning it off your fingers and then this which is on the inner corner blended outward and those are my go-to shades so i love this palette so much i really do but my favorite is still peach fizz in that collection always will be all right so for eyeliner, I used, what else? The John to Blue Ultra Lasting Formula Professional Art Makeup Liquid Eyeliner 24 Hour. And I think I did a pretty good job with it today. It's not perfect, it never is, but it works. 
It works if you work it, which is a quote I got from the movie 13. Please don't watch it. <laughs> the makeup brushes I use today are SMS Glam Precise Eye 05 from the Rainbow Lux collection and Serafina Delirium Cosmetics The Last Unicorn Eye Brush. And I'll put those over here with other dirty brushes. Lipstick I am wearing is, it says Serafina Delirium Cosmetics, but the lie detector determined that that was a lie. I'm just kidding. I don't watch Jerry Springer. <laughs> I'm just playing with you. This is Context Beauty Lipstick in the shade Back for More because you're on my channel and you are back for more. All right. I love this lipstick. Very nice consist consistency. Feels like a lip balm or like a lip gloss, but very very pretty. I messed it up a little bit. Oh no. Oh no. It's all good. I'm gonna use it anyway. Can't. You can't use it if you don't like mess it up at some point. And that's what life's about. We make mistakes. We mess up our lipstick. Otherwise we wouldn't be living. See? These are these are real life swatches guys. Okay. What else did I use today? <laughs> okay. So what's on my nails? I used the OPI Nail Lacquer last night, painted my nails with Can't Find My Checkbook. And Can't Find My Checkbook is this beautiful nautical blue, like a teal blue, but checkbook is spelled like Czechoslovakia. I cannot stand the spellings on these OPI nail polishes, they confuse me. So it's checkbook, like Czech, Czechoslovakia. Can't Find My Checkbook. I will write it down below. And then we have the Paparazzi Nail Polish by CVS Beauty, and this is in Reach for the Stars. It is a glitter polish, and it does have stars in it. There aren't very many stars on here. You have to really, like, fish for them, but that's okay. And then as a top coat and base coat, I use the LA Colors Color Craze Gel Polish. This is in Frosting. Frosting, that's right. LA Colors is balls, and I love them. Fun fact, you know that you're a mom when you're drinking juice from a Batman cup. And also when you put random stickers on your cell phone because you can't find a cell phone case that fits your phone so you just cover it with stickers because El Cheapo. Okay, so I'm really excited to tell you this. This is like an anti-haul kind of unhaul. So I sell on Mercari. You, I don't know if you guys are interested, but I do have a website linked below. Southern Bell, I wanted to say Serafina Bell. It's Southern Bell Treasures on Mercari. Check it out. I have a Facebook page. You can like it down below if you're interested and go check out my deals on my website and my Facebook page. And I will be happy to help you out. I send free gifts. I send handwritten notes. I try to package everything with love, TLC, all that good stuff. So today, actually last night, so I'm not normally um, a person who gets religious on YouTube, but I felt in my heart, I was like, okay, I got this phone call yesterday from the staff at this residential facility that my grandmother is at. It's um, assisted living. It's not a nursing home. It's assisted living. And I have to be clear with her because she did not want to go to the nursing home. So I have to be like, okay, it's not a nursing home, Granny. It's assisted living. So she was really upset yesterday. And she does not want to be there. She wants to go home. But that's beside the point. It's a very complicated situation. We're not going to talk about it on YouTube. So it's kind of a mess. And I said, okay, I'm going to come see you tomorrow, which is today. And last night I said, okay, so I already have some donations in my car. I had a really nice pillow, floral pillow. I love floral stuff. My bed has floral stuff on it. Um, floral succulent bed spread. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I got it for my birthday. So anyways, so I got her this big, beautiful floral pillowcase. And then there's this big um, red and white blanket that I gave her, it says live, laugh, love. And I made her bed today where she's living now and it looks really nice. I think she's really gonna like it. So I wanted to take those donations to her and I had everything in the car last night packed up. Okay. And then I was like, I am hearing God in my head saying, this stuff is sitting here, it's makeup. You're not gonna use it, it's just sitting here. And you know, I've done some things in the past I'm not proud of and in, in, a, in a way I want good karma to come my way. You know what I mean? Like you're doing something and, and you're like, okay, 
let's do something positive and kind of cancel it out, right? So, well, that's not the point. I just wanted to do something kind. Like, these people, we don't know if these are their final days. I don't know if these are my grandmother's final days. I don't know, but I know what it's like to be in a place you don't know when you're going home, you're scared to death, you're trapped and you're scared. And this might be the one positive thing that you have. So playing bingo once a week or being able to get this one thing. There's people coming in on stretchers all the time, ambulances going in and out, and they might not have anything. When my grandmother first got there, she didn't have any clothes. She didn't have her things. She didn't have her glasses. Um, she had a broken bridge, which is her teeth, because she had fallen. And it was a really scary situation. So God had said to me last night, you have all this makeup. Why don't you give them some things? Why don't you pick some things out? So I did, I was like, Okay, God, I'll do it. I hope I don't regret it. I'm going to do it. I hope that they can use it. I hope they can appreciate it. I hope I can make one person happy. And he said, no, you're going to make a whole bunch of people happy. And this is just me being, I don't know. My husband said, oh, yeah, you're such a good person. I'm like, Brian, you know that's not true. <laughs> you know that's not true. You know that's a crack of BS. I ain't a good person. Don't you tell me that. <clears throat> but I did. I packed up two boxes, two boxes worth of makeup and hair products and nail polish and like some headbands and, and it was all brand new sealed and all kinds of stuff. And then there was a bunch of towels that we never use that don't match. And they're really fluffy towels, like new towels, like big fluffy burgundy colors that I don't like, gray, burgundy, you know, green, you know, just colors that they can really use. And um, some clothes that Brian wasn't gonna wear, I donated those. And we just keep taking donations and you know today was bingo day <laughs> and we get there and it's bingo day so i meet with the activities coordinator and she says oh, you brought donations it's bingo day and i'm like no way god told me to bring this stuff i didn't know it was bingo day so we played bingo and my granny when i'd gone there before she didn't want to play bingo because we got there today she was distraught she said i want to go home my family has abandoned me you know all this stuff and it's it's been it's been really hard this past these past few months like I don't talk about this stuff because it's not my place to talk about this on the internet this is very personal but I wanted to say something positive it was really hard to leave her today um, because she wanted to go home she wanted us to leave she does not want to be there she wants to go home and it's just a really complicated situation and I can't delve into it here but when we got there we had she was upset and we had the little luau, and it was so nice. They had it all decorated. They had like these little, um, I gotta show you a couple things. I was probably dumb to show you this and bring this stuff home because I could have thrown it away. But these are the cups that they had. These were so cute. I had to, I had to bring them home. Okay, there's a green one. I don't know if you can see it. And then this one said Aloha. And I thought, oh, this is the kind of stuff I wanted at my wedding because Brian and I were gonna do it at Dowd at State Park at the amphitheater and the beach plaza and the beach theme so these were just really cool i love this so they did this whole luau thing it's so nice and then these were on the straws so i took these off the straws it's a pineapple <laughs> it's a little pineapple and they had flamingos and everything so i get two pineapples i'm gonna put in my dollhouses i thought they can have a little party in the dollhouse See, when you're a real dollhouse person, a real miniature holic, as it's called, you probably grew up poor, like I did, and you take what you have and you make things out of trash or things you find, and that's how you build a dollhouse. At least that's how I grew up. I made a dollhouse one time. I literally made it out of cardboard. So this was so cute. I can take this and make a party. In my dollhouse and then we had these they were on these little toothpicks in the um like watermelons and cantaloupes oh speaking of which did you know why the watermelons had to get married the cantaloupe <laughs> the cantaloupe so anyway they had a little luau and it just it was nice to see her happy and it was it was rough leaving but anyways let's move on to the next topic which is after the unhaul i did pick up a few books <laughs> the little free, free little library down the way from this assisted living facility. So these are the books that I picked up. 
I wanted the whole collection of these. I love the Hunger Games. I have the movies. I have not seen them because I have young children in the house and I cannot watch them around the children. I have not had a chance, so I have not watched the movies. I decided to just sell them, but it's safe to read the books. So I found this today. I wanted to just get the books. This is Catching Fire, so I don't have the original. I believe this is the second one in the series. I do not know, but I'll figure it out. But I found this today and I thought, awesome, I'll add it to my bookshelf, which is growing. However, I do have a humongous bookshelf. Those are books I need to read. I have read every single one of the Companion Library. Those were my mother's books in the 50s and 60s. So if you pull them out, it says to Marietta from mommy and mom and dad. And then up here are Nancy Drew books. I'm working on collecting all 64 of them. I have one through 14. I just got 15. And then I have 16 through 25. Okay, I have 16 through 25. I think I just got 26. And then I have 28 and I have 54. So, like, I know that Nancy Drew books are, like, kids' books, but I'm really getting into Nancy Drew. I am looking forward to reading all of Nancy Drew books. There's 64 of the Nancy Drew Mystery Stories collection, and I've read all of those that you see. Okay, so, speaking of the Nancy Drew, I might as well show you the ones that I just got. I just got 15. The Haunted Bridge. I'm going to read that one, too, and then I'll put it up there, and then I will have 1 through 25 all red not in order sadly but close enough and then 26 and then i'll have one through 26 and then i'll i'll need 27 and then i'll have one through 28. Ah, that's awesome so i i love it i love nancy drew books and they're safe like i have ptsd so they're safe they don't trigger me a whole lot all right and then my grandmother she collects danielle steel books so i found this today in the free little library I read it uh, when I was like 12, 11, something like that, 13, and I remember exactly how it goes. It's like two different stories in one. It's like you're in a old, she's in an old house, and she is reading a book that someone left there, and it had a history in it, and I think that's how it went, and it's really cool. Yes, 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 this, this was a really good story. There's several of them like this. So I'm, I'm going to read it again or maybe give it to my grandmother. But I found this today. And my grandmother, she collected all the Danielle Steele books. And I helped her co complete her collection. So it was really interesting. And I found this just down the street where she's staying. I would like to inherit her entire Danielle Steele collection, if possible. She said that I could. And also the Left Behind series, which is like the end of the world. There's also another series called Left Behind the Kids. I read one book. I think it was Left Behind 1, the kids one. That's the only one I've ever read. I haven't read, like, Left Behind or Nikolai or whatever. Okay, I found this today, a Mindfulness for Beginners journal. This seemed interesting because I really want, like, the magic of tidying up. And then there's, um, the Calamari Method. Not Calamari! That's Baby Octopus. <laughs> the, I think it's something like that, the Calamari Method. Close enough, right? The, um, what is the other one called? Let me think. Whatever. I can't remember. Oh, Swedish Death Cleaning. I decided to just give up and not even more for, for worry about it anymore. And then it just, like, my brain is just like, hey! So, anyway, Swedish Death Cleaning. I'm really interested in it. It sounds so punk, doesn't it? So, this is Matthew Sokolov. Sock you in the law. <laughs> What kind of name is that? But yeah, this sounds really good. I am interested in this. Seems like work though. I just want to read it and not give them my my opinion. <laughs> Looks like someone else's journal. Ooh, you get to read their thoughts. All right. Also, I have a corn snake. So I found this and I thought this was interesting because my snake looks almost identical to this one. His name is Crimson. He's a redhead. We have a ginger cat. We have a ginger snake. I have three ginger sons, a ginger stepdaughter, <laughs> so a ginger husband. And anyway, I thought this was really cool. And then this one as well. I've never had a python, but a lot of people like ball pythons and I like snakes. 
So I like reptiles though. And amphibians, including like salamanders. Salamanders are really cool. And there's one more book that I just bought. This is gonna be a long read, but I watched the movie. It was, I think on YouTube somewhere. It was called The Secret Life of Marilyn Monroe. I'm very interested in her. They, they recommended this book. The movie was based on this book. And I know this is going to take forever. And it's probably going to be a little bit triggering. Because, yeah, life. Nobody's life is perfect. So I may identify with her just a little bit. Just a little bit. Like, I didn't get rich and famous or anything. But I do identify with Marilyn Monroe in a few ways. I'm not going to say how or why, but she is close to my heart. So I do want to read this at some point. It is a goal. That's a lot of books. And we are done with books. And I just have a few things. When my mom and I were pulling out things to possibly donate, we did a lot. But we, but I also decided to keep a few things that my mom had said, Hey, I don't need this. Do you want this? Do you want to donate it? to the facility when I keep saying facility like that sounds so sterile to the um what do I call it <laughs> to the place do you want to donate it to the place so I decided to keep these things this is the Cetaphil moisturizing cream <laughs> sorry for my violent attack I'm a felon after all this is the Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream for dry, very dry to dry sensitive skin. And it hydrates for 48 hours, fully restores the skin barrier. Lord knows I need it. I need it. Um, it's three ounces. So I'll work on this. I don't think it's for face. It's probably for just your skin. Um, but it says won't clog pores. So maybe for face? I don't know. Uh, it doesn't say. It doesn't say. So... We'll try it. And some Revlon Color Silk stuff that I'm just going to put on my hair and um, wash out. Even though it's for after color, I don't care. This is the Cali C Cloud Soft Bod Vanilla. And it just looks like it's nice. Like, have I used this before? I don't know. I've heard really good stuff about this brand, though, and I'd like to try it. It says one fluid ounce. I think my mom tried it. So, Miami Beach, Florida. Well, I can't really donate it because it's not new anyway. And I only wanted to donate new and sealed stuff. I'm just ethics. So this is the Sila or Sela. Is that Sila or Sela? Somebody tell me. Creme Rose by Celine Tadrisi. This is the Creme Rose. The very best cream rose. Creme Supreme. <laughs> Body lotion. It's one ounce. And I love that packaging. So pretty. Um, this from seed to skin. It's just for your skin. Did she use this? Yeah, she used it a little bit. Mm, that smells good. Oh yeah. She just broke the seal on that. But I can't donate it. The seal's broken. And that's it. That's everything. Thank God, because we're at 30 minutes. Thank you guys so much for putting up with me for like 30 whole minutes. If you hung out with me for like a whole half hour to watch this video and you didn't fast forward, even if you did, that's totally cool. But if you didn't, you're like the real OG. Either way, you're an OG, like for sticking out with me for this video and just sitting here and hanging out with me. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day just to hang out with me. It really means a lot. It really means a lot for me to be able to like come over here and sit in front of a screen and just talk and I post it and somebody's listening and somebody cares. So I want you guys to know that I really appreciate you. I appreciate all of you that have recently subscribed to my channel. Even those of you who haven't, who have just decided to click on my videos and maybe give it a like. Thank you. Um, so today was a day. It's thunderstorming. I don't know if I should put the chickens up or not. I have chickens and ducks. I don't know. I'm gonna go lounge in the living room, wash my makeup off, hang out with my kid, probably take a nap, and maybe do some chores. I don't know. I have a massive headache, so I need to take my Tobamax, which is for headaches, and my Zyrtec for my allergies, and that's, that's all the meds that I take is Zyrtec. 
Topa Max, and was that one for Heartburn? Uh, the purple one? <laughs> the thing for Heartburn, but I don't need it. I'm good. So anyway, I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing, fantastic day, and thank you so much. Thank you so much. From the bottom of my little mermaid Pisces heart. Um, I hope you have an amazing day. I will see you in my next video. Bye, mermaids.